A powerful pairing for the All-Stars, Dorothy Hamill with the Proto-Popoffs. Ludmila and Oleg, the supreme artists of figure skating. Ted, I think this opening lift really says it all with regard to what they have to say about skating. It's just simple, perfect, beautiful. Proto-Popoffs are unique in the skating world for many reasons. One of these reasons is that they have foregone any personal pleasure in their, in their personal life. They have decided not to have children. They have dedicated themselves, body and soul, to the art of skating. And I spoke to Oleg last year, and I remember saying that if he could die on the ice, he would be happy. I hope I don't go the, that route. The music is Elegy by Rachmaninoff. There was a great controversy when they defected from Russia because many people thought that there, in fact, were political motivations behind it, but what actually happened was that the Russian Figure Skating Association wanted them to retire and wanted them to teach young pairs, and they refused to do this because their love of skating was so great that they wanted to continue, and so they were forced to defect. And they now live in Switzerland. is such a fanatic with regard to biorhythms that he has a little machine and every member on our team and I was on this team was checked and told whether or not they were in good shape mentally and physically which was a very unnerving thing and as far as you are concerned what was the I told him never to tell me what mine was again. The protopopops also have another thing that smacks of a certain fanaticism, and they refuse point blank to skate on an ice surface that is not regulation size. As a result, they have passed up many very lucrative opportunities to skate with certain ice shows or television programs because they will not skate on a small ice surface. as the greatest living skating pair ever. And yet, not one single pair in North America, in Russia, in Europe, has ever patterned themselves after the protopopops, which strikes me as being very unusual. is always the mark of whether a skater is really top-notch is if 
you can hear them skate when they skate on the ice, and the Pitico pops are absolutely soundless. sensitivity that they have with this number that a somewhat more atmospheric lighting would have been more appropriate. But Ted, there's no doubt they're the greatest. It's, it, it's very, very intriguing to note, Fowler, that theirs was the longest performance, individual performance or pair performance, by anyone in the competition. And there is their partner applauding, Dorothy Hamill, and of course a standing ovation from an extremely appreciative audience at the Capitol Center. Scotty Hamilton, the world men's champion there. And Elaine Zayak right beside him. 9.95. The protocol thoughts defy being marked down. One cannot really affix a mark that would be appropriate to them because what you're marking is not their performance but their contribution to skating. Well, this is going to produce the highest average mark that we have seen. 9.95. And to you, Oleg. That is the highest mark that we have seen. 9.93 out of 10 for that pairing for the All-Stars. 